Well, the CDC published some of the results from its youth risk behavior study, and it talks about health behaviors and experiences among high school students here in the United States. Here to talk more about this report is Dr. Cheryl Ziegler. She is a licensed therapist and our nine news parenting expert. Dr. Ziegler, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're here to talk about this because we are seeing headlines galore about this specific study and specifically the COVID effect on youth mental health. Let's start with what this report actually found. Yes, so let's talk about what this report is because it's important. It's 10 years long. So why it's getting a lot of press and media is because over the course from 2011 through 2021, they tracked youth mental health and they do this every 10 years. So this is a big deal and it takes a year to put together these results. And so what they found was, let's say for girls in 2011, about 36% of girls said that they reported persistent levels of sadness and hopelessness, okay? Then we see the arrow goes, it just is spikes up. And at 2021, during COVID, when they started looking, you know, tallying these results, they were at 57%. So it was a huge rise. It was a spike. However, for boys, it was more, it was, it's subtle. Boys, it's, it's up, but it went from 21% to 29% and really quite gradually. Okay, interesting. Why is that? What did they find? So the, the findings really, you know, you, you interpret them, right? This is data right. and now everybody's interpreting the data. Yes. I think one strong interpretation that I also support is that 2011 the smartphone. Yeah. And so when we want to know, well, what's the effect of technology and social media? I think we see it. We see that technology and social media hits girls a lot harder than boys. Right. Boys spend time, uh, much less time on social media, but they also spend more time on YouTube and playing video games. And yes, we can have our own separate set of concerns about that. But when we see, again, suicide, persistent sadness, depression, it, it impacts girls so much more because they're on it so much right, more. Right, okay, so we had this conversation with you last week about social media impacting our youth mental health. A lot of people are quick to say, well, COVID had a really big impact here. The report actually found, no, it didn't. It kind of just exposed the big impact that was already in play. Absolutely. So you can say there was a slight COVID effect for girls because we did see an increase from 2019 to 2021. But for boys, data wise, there's almost no COVID effect. Right. And so that's where I wanted to really break this down for people because I don't want them to think, oh, nothing happened during COVID. A lot of big things happened, but I think it was really an exposure of a mental health system right. and a mental health state of emergency like that was building and COVID just blew it up and just exposed what was happening as parents sat in that front row witnessing what was going on and witnessing how their children dealt with stress. Yeah, and, and unfortunately we do have to move on. We just have a few seconds left. I just want to use this little bit of time though. What is your advice? What is something we could do to help our youth right now? Well, just going off of what we're talking about today, really look at that social media, limit that time and monitor it. And, and it's actually good advice for adults too. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ziegler, we appreciate you. Thank you very much.